Hey, I'm talking to you about doing what the Word says. You know, I believe it's in Luke 17, might be Luke 7, I'm not sure which one it is there. It says that Jesus was preaching in the house, and all the scribes and the Pharisees from round about was there. Wasn't no way to get in. There's so many people there. And it says, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And I'm just going to add a little word there. I'm not adding to the scriptures. The power of the Lord was present to heal them all. Now, we know what Jesus was preaching on because faith for anything comes by hearing the word on a particular subject. So Jesus was preaching on healing. But now, I want you to get this. Nobody got healed except one guy because he made a demand with his four friends that he was going to get his. Now, people sometimes have gotten a little upset with me when I say, well, you know, if anybody in here gets it, it's going to be me. Well, the reason I say that is because I'm going to make a demand on the power of God. So he was preaching on healing. There's a multitude around in the house, outside the house. And so this guy couldn't get to Jesus to receive his healing. But his four friends put him on his cot there, took him up to the top of the house, took a lot of effort there. They had to tear a hole in the house. They let the man down before Jesus. And this is what the Bible says. And Jesus, when he saw their faith, he said, man, thy sins be forgiven thee. Well, now them scribes and Pharisees got all upset over that. I mean, who do you think you are forgiving sin? And Jesus said, which is easier to say? Man, thy sins be forgiven thee, or take up your bed and rise and walk. So then he said, so take up your bed, rise and walk. And the man walked out totally healed. Now, I don't know if there was a hundred people there or if there was a thousand people there. I'm sure there's a lot of people that had needs. And the scribes and Pharisees only saw what Jesus said and did and got upset about it because it was not religious. I want you to know faith is not religious. In fact, Pat and I say things like this all the time. I'm not religious at all. You know, I go to church, but I go to church to hear the word. I go to church so that the word can get in my heart and I can receive my miracle. That's the reason you ought to go to church and just not just because it's something to do. In fact, I pray over everything that I eat, not because it's the religious thing to do, and I do it in public too. It's because I got to eat that stuff, and the Bible says anything that's received in thanksgiving shall not harm me. So we're not talking about being religious. We're not talking about being, um, you know, having that religious attitude that describes affairs. Well, you know, who can forgive sins? Listen, Jesus didn't worry about the man's sin. He just got him healed, and he saw their faith. So today, you make a demand on the Word of God. You be the one that's going to get your miracle. Uh, I'm believing God for miracles every day. I mean, if I told you what I was believing for, some of your brains would just shut down probably. I am believing God every day to take cities, take nations with the power of the Word of God. Have the money to go and pay for it before I got there, not have to take up offerings. I'm believing God to do things different than anybody has before, and I'm not the least bit religious. Religion won't help you receive, but making a demand on His Word will. Hey, I gotta go. Jesus is Lord. And thank God the word works.